When's the last time you were on a horse, Tim Griffin? Whew, years. I walked next to one down in Brown County when my kids were on it about two years ago. Okay, that's enough. But that's, that's I think, the last time. And but before that, who knows? I, I like, though, that you brought up, can I send suggestions for Anessa? Yes, she, she asked for I, them early okay, with yeah. the shake-up recipe. Yeah, because I'm just going to send her something that is doubly and triple deep fried <laughs> and uses as much oh. fat, grease, and sugar. What's that, what's that Sunday that's uh, mashed potatoes yeah. and gravy? And yeah, <laughs> and then it's put in between two pieces of fried chicken. Yeah, exactly. So. I noticed that Mike mentioned that uh, Anessa's mom is going to be doing milkshakes. Yeah, so I she's, want, she's doing a degree yeah, of separation. I want, I, want to, I, want to, I want to get <laughs> Anessa. I want to help her do That'll some really great. things that are out of her wheelhouse. All right, so yes. uh, street taco. So street taco. So this is really simple. I've got an onion in here right now, sautéing, and um, I did it in a Dutch oven. You can use a cast iron. I used a cast iron for the actual finished product. Mm -hmm. But um, we're going to get that sautéing, and then I'm going to go ahead and decorate up our, uh, our pork tenderloin here. And the nice thing about these little tenderloins is they're so good. I, I just feel like, again, I can't mess them up, you know? It's not that I'm that great of a chef or a cook. It's, it's really it's like fairly this, foolproof. Yeah, this cut of meat. So I just like to give it a, a little bit of some... Mm -hmm. Garlic powder, a little bit of cumin, black pepper, and a little bit of adobo seasoning here, All right. and some carne asada seasoning. And then, of course, what street taco doesn't need? <laughs> Smoked Hungarian paprika. We didn't say where the streets are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is a they have little... street tacos in Hungary. Exactly. They must. So we're going to flip that, and I'll do the same thing on the other side. Mm -hmm. Obviously, starting with my Hungarian paprika. Oh, my a lot of times, I don't put salt on meat when I'm going to cook it for a long time. My Uncle Rocky used to always say it toughens it, so I always wait till the end to salt it. Okay, does, does your Uncle Rocky have any proof that it toughens it, or is this one of those family uh, you know things what? you just do? Uncle Rocky could you cook, and... <laughs> okay. Yeah, you know, with sure. the name like Rocco Francisco Agostino, like, mm. how do I not listen to him? Yeah, that's an I was afraid point. not to, so no. So we're going to add that. Then once we've got it all seasoned up, we're mm -hmm. just going to take this piece of meat here and maybe drop it. I didn't have the best thong, uh, tongs here. So we're going to sear that on both sides, get a nice sear, mm -hmm. and then we're going to start putting these onions on. And then for the sake of time, I like to add one, just a little bit of liquid smoke. If you've got a smoker outside, this would be great. Oh. I don't have a smoker, so just a tiny bit of liquid smoke. I got friends with smokers. I think they do it as much to irritate their neighbors as they do to feed themselves. <laughs> then oh. just a shot of a little bit of a, a sheer choice of a light pilsner. So Excellent we'll, choice. Yes, so we'll set that. Ooh, that's ready. And <laughs> ah, here we are, my lime. So then we're going to give that a shot with the lime. And good, not hot. I'm going to set this over here. We're going to pretend I put it in the oven for right now. Okay. Because you're just going to stick that in the oven at like 235, 245, like seven hours. Yeah. And do it in the morning. You're ready in the evening. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I can hold that. So we'll set our finished product here, and then we'll go ahead and make a taco. And it literally, when I did this, it it came yeah, apart. It, yeah. It it, falls like apart. I could with the with the right there. I just grabbed it and it was falling apart. So throw those in there, and we're going to go ahead, little corn taco shells here. I'm going to get a couple of those just browning. Mm -hmm. uh, something else that I like to do, just take a little bit of Greek yogurt, yeah. some chipotle powder, put it in there. Where do I have oh, my lime? Some lime juice. A uh, little bit of I some needed, kosher sea I salt. I needed this before vacation. And a little bit of cilantro. And that, that makes up, instead of using like a sour cream and I'm not a big sure. sour cream fan so we'll do that and let's get these a little bit hotter and we'll go ahead and decorate one up so we'll set that here take a little bit of that shredded pork on there and then we've got some pinko de gallo that we'll throw on whatever really you like on on top of yours mm -hmm. you want a little bit of black bean and I forgot to cut my avocado because I would definitely put avocado, but I forgot Sorry. it. So what we're going to do is we'll scoop a little bit of our salsa on there. And the nice thing is when you use a scoop like this to do it. Yeah, you got to eat the scoop. Yeah, I can't let the scoop go to waste. So then I spill on my shirt. That's fine. And then a little bit of lettuce. Look at that. And our... But a little bloop on top. Mm -hmm. And if I had, I would have. I forgot to cut my avocados here. There Some slices of avocado. So... Nice little street taco. Look at that. Well, and like you said, if you've got the smoker, you could do a lot of this oh, outside. You this is the grill. You don't have to heat up the kitchen necessarily. This is so easy. This, this 
pork tenderloin easy right now what's nice is if you, the kids you know you don't finish it all for dinner for the tacos the next day you have lunch yeah you know just so easy throw it into some scrambled eggs even Slide things of that nature that way over to you Trish. I appreciate that uh-huh I want to eat it with my fingers because I'm still kind of on vacation yeah that's at right least, at least mentally yeah you have a little of that pork but really simple kids like it they loved it we you know I always a lot wow. of times make my recipes here at home first and this is a great flavor yeah just super simple easy a couple hours put it in the morning before you leave come back salsa took literally five minutes and that was we great. were talking about a healthy I mean if I could find a different delivery system for the <laughs> instead of the chip for the salsa oh. but sometimes I could just spoon feed like fresh salsa like that yeah oh so healthy I mean it's got antioxidants you know vitamin C I have and I it's have, delicious I have drinks also before I mean yeah. it's like just a little quick snack good good for you I'm getting some vegetables in right hey Great to see you in person. Yes, Glad you, you and too. your family are well. Appreciate all your contributions through all this. Love seeing your family. Yes. My mother says hi. She's yes, tell her I said hello. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. And we'll be right back.